Hey everyone, welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on the fall forecast for 2024 for September, October, and November of 2024 with your temperature and precipitation anomalies. Also looking at the early portion of the fall to see if we do have frost and freeze conditions and your severe weather forecast and your overall fall forecast region by region in the video. So make sure to subscribe to the channel down below as we're quickly approaching 94,000 subscribers here on the channel and for the latest information as we do also have a winter forecast that will be coming out here in just around a few weeks to a month and make sure to also give the video a like a thumbs up down below it goes a long way in helping out this video I really do appreciate it also leave any comments questions and concerns below we'll get to those later on today what you're looking at is the sea surface temperature anomalies across the equatorial Pacific this gives you a good indication of where we are here with our climate pattern and you can see there is a cold phase to this so we we are leaning more cold neutral to even a weak La Nina as we go especially into the middle to late portion of the fall with the look of it here and you can see with the latest index we have been slipping into that negative territory not strong enough to where we could declare this a La Nina but we have certainly been in the cold phase of neutral and that continues even here in August and as we go deeper here closer to September, especially deeper into the fall, into, into the months of October and even November, we are going to be getting closer to that negative 0 0.5. And that's really what you need for that uh, the weak La Nina to come to fruition as we go deeper into the fall. Here is the La Nina pattern. This is what you call a La Nina where we have more of that variable polar jet stream here across the western portion of Canada, bringing down frequent cold fronts, a lot of colder air masses there from Canada, the Aleutian Islands up there in Alaska, all the way down to the northwest United States and the northern United States. Also bringing some wetter conditions, a little bit of a weather pattern change for our friends in the Pacific Northwest. Also wetter conditions in the Ohio Valley, whereas in comparison, drier, across the southern United States also warmer as well so that means unfortunately the fire conditions down into places like California Arizona Nevada are at only going to get worse I think as we go deeper into the fall season let's look here at the weather pattern as brought to you by the CFS version 2 model for September ridge of high pressure very in control across the lower 48 in September this will bring above normal temperatures across most of the lower 48 so a lot of us are going to be very warm as we go into September also see kind of variable with precipitation a couple areas to look out for precipitation above normal would be Florida this could be more induced by the tropics, so a tropical storm, for example, a hurricane or a major hurricane, same thing near the Gulf Coast all the way back to Texas. Pretty dry, though, with that ridge of high pressure across the middle of the country. Over the top, though, we could have storm complexes, at least for a time, as we go into September across the Midwest, the Great Lakes and Ohio Valley, so that's why they're above normal up here, and that jet stream across the Pacific Northwest will be trending above normal as well for the month there of September. Going into October, this includes the Halloween time frame as well, going all the way through October 31st. Ridge of high pressure is really in firm control here as well, so it does look like it's going to be a warm October, at least for the western third of the United States. Trending a little closer to normal, though, the further east you go toward the east coast, especially up here into the I-95 corridor, the mid-Atlantic coast, or even towards coastal Texas could be near normal there for temperatures in October. Very wet, though, it'll be across the southeast. East, including Florida. I think this is, has to, a lot to do with the precipitation being above normal because of the tropical weather. Could have another tropical landfalling system we'll have to watch out for as we go into October. Some of that could bleed up into the Ohio Valley as well as maybe as far west as the Mississippi River, depending on if we have a tropical system making landfall and how far west it is in October. Very dry though, nonetheless, across the middle of the country in the western part of the country as we go into October. And then and finally, November 2024, you can see that ridge begins to slowly break down and get a little bit stronger, though, for the middle of the country. So I think as we go into November, we could be seeing some warmer temperatures, maybe even for the Thanksgiving holiday time frame as well. So we'll have to watch out for that across the middle of the country, especially the central and southern plains could be a very warm November this year and a very active jet stream to the north. Southern Canada, the northern tier of the United States, we likely could be seeing some active weather 
up here throughout the month of November. Very dry, more of a La Nina look here across the southern United States as we go into November. And we showed you we're cold neutral right now. We're going to be trending toward weak La Nina by the time we get to the late portion of the fall. So this makes sense that the weather pattern is drying out as we have seen more than not in these La Nina patterns across the southern United States. Now let's look up here into the northern hemisphere, the height anomalies in October. By the middle of the fall, we're going to be watching these cold fronts as they drop from western and central Canada down into at least the northern and northwestern United States. They could pack a punch, especially in October and November. There are some colder anomalies up here in the northern hemisphere near Siberia that could actually release some cold air. Now it's not going to be like the winter cold, no 20 below zero or anything crazy like that, but giving you kind of a little bit of a feel of the fall and winter ahead as some of those cold fronts bring some colder air than we're used to during the middle and late portion of the fall into October and November. My fall, my fall frost and freeze forecast for 2024, I think we could have an early frost or freeze, especially up here in the Pacific Northwest, the Northern Rockies or the Northern Plains, especially for like the Dakotas, Northwest Minnesota areas up here. Um, that's where some of those cold fronts could make it as far from Canada down to the south and before we're kind of running into that ridge. Um, otherwise, areas in white, we think we have more of an average conditions for frost or freeze. So it's more of kind of near normal what you could typically typically see for your frost or freeze as we go into the fall months. Now, looking at the fall severe weather forecast, people often uh, describe the fall as second severe weather season. There are a couple areas that we are keeping an eye on for above average severe weather potential this fall for September, October, and November. The first large orange area here from the upper Midwest down here along and west of the Mississippi River into places like the mid-Missouri Valley, the central and parts of the southern plains. This is an area that has been hit hard this this spring and summer with severe weather and likely with more cold fronts clashing with the warm, moist and unstable air out east and that colder, more stable air from the north. That will meet up here in the middle of the country again. So some states that have been hit hard like Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Missouri may actually be in line for more severe weather than normal this fall. And then down here in Dixie Alley, been a very quiet severe weather season, spring and summer. We're going to see that ramp up as we kind of transition closer to a weaker La Nina. So East Texas, all the way through Southern Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, West Georgia, Northwest Florida, and even parts of Southern Tennessee could start to see above average severe weather as we go deeper into the fall with those clashes to some of those cold fronts and also with tropical systems that could make landfall as well. We could have more tornadoes down here than normal if that does occur. So my fall severe weather forecast 2024 region by region across the Pacific Northwest into the Northern Rockies, Northern Plains. Um, we could see mild and dry conditions here in the yellow. So uh, pretty dry this fall overall, pretty mild conditions. Not much to really talk about there. Um, across portions of the desert Southwest into the Four Corners region. This includes California, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico. Pretty hot, pretty dry. So the fire season is going to persist longer into the fall months across this region. Very warm into the central southern plains. So into Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, and Louisiana. A lot of these areas will stay very warm as we go deeper into the fall. There could be some cool spells, but overall we look at very warm conditions. In the blue up here in the upper Midwest, Ohio Valley, Great Lakes, so Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio trending a little bit cooler this fall, especially during the middle and end of fall, a more frequent cold fronts dropping down that could actually lead to some cooler air masses here a little bit earlier on into especially like October maybe. And then again in November, we'll have to wait and see on that. And then across most of the east from Maine to Florida and everywhere in between there and parts of the Southern Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley included here, we have very wet conditions and this this could actually be either from those cold fronts sweeping across the country or even tropical systems making landfall here as we go into the eastern U.S. throughout the fall. So that is what we see there region by region. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel down below as like I said, we have a winter forecast coming up here in a few weeks to a month. So we'll be checking out with that and seeing what our winter prospects for snow and cold will be. And while you're waiting for that, make sure to like the video down below by giving it a thumbs up. Leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. We'll get to those after the video here. Thanks all everybody for watching and supporting this channel and I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day out there.